every day use the blood of Jesus as a, a decree out of your mouth because the blood of Jesus is really a stop sign to evil spirits that are assigned to your life mentally to destroy you physically to destroy you or financially to destroy you so you use the blood of Jesus with your mouth because as you're using the blood you're releasing his power as a stop sign so that evil spirits can't accomplish what Satan has desired them to accomplish against you. In a day, um, there are there are assignments that demons have for your mind. That's why you can hear a bad news and it can affect you drastically because there's a satanic agent behind the bad news that come to destroy your faith. And when your faith is destroyed, you are destroyed. Your whole joy is connected to whether or not you can be successful in your faith. Your whole joy is connected to whether or not you can be successful in your faith. So if your faith fail, your joy fails with it. So it's very dangerous if you don't uh, protect faith. Because if you don't protect faith, you don't protect your joy. And if you don't protect your joy, uh, you don't protect your life. So here's what I want you to catch. In a day, you could lose all that God has placed in you for that day. If you don't plead the blood, if you don't apply the blood of Jesus, you got to speak the blood of Jesus with your mouth and you got to say in Jesus name, I apply the blood of the lamb to my home, my children, my finances, my mind, my path. You apply the blood of Jesus and as you're doing that, Michael and his angels respect you. They know that they can bring order to your life off of that. Now, let me deal with this real quickly. Um, every single day, God has a hope that's scheduled for you. And that hope is to give you inspiration. That hope, it can be a favorite food. It can be a favorite clothes. It can be a favorite um, picture. There's something that God has given every single day for you to keep you inspired because your hope is deciding all of your fruitfulness. Your hope is the creator of your fruit. If you don't have any hope, you won't have any fruit. If you don't have any hope, you won't have any fruit. If you don't have any hope, is a revelation that you have chosen to be a fool. The absence of hope creates a fool. A fool enjoys unthankfulness. The absence of hope creates a fool. A fool enjoys unthankfulness. A fool creates their own stumbling blocks. They're, they are their own snares. Uh, what is a snare? You hear the Bible talk about snares. Sna 